Brandy White, family nurse practitioner at Scotland County Hospital and Clinics. With summer quickly approaching, it is time to begin thinking about some of the health concerns that may accompany warmer weather. Today, I want to discuss heat-related illnesses and a few that you may encounter during warmer temperatures. Heat-related illnesses occur during extreme temperatures when the body becomes unable to cool itself by sweating. When this occurs, a person's body temperature begins to rise faster than the body can cool itself down. If it is left untreated, damage can occur to the brain as well as other vital organs. This often happens when someone is exposed to high temperatures, especially when there is high humidity. Older adults, infants, and young children and those with other health conditions are at the greatest risk of developing a heat-related condition. There are many other factors that may put someone at risk, including obesity, dehydration, heart disease, and alcohol use. It is important to know that heat-related illnesses can develop quickly. Being able to recognize the signs and react quickly is crucial in preventing someone from developing a more serious condition. One of the least severe heat illnesses is a heat rash. It is most common in young children. This occurs when someone is hot or has been sweating a lot. Heat rashes present as a red cluster of pimples or blisters and is typically found in elbow creases, upper chest, neck, groin, or areas where skin rubs together. If you experience any of these symptoms, you should move to a cooler area. Keep the areas of the rash dry and you can apply powder to the area for comfort, but you should avoid using creams or ointments since this may impair cooling. Another common illness caused by high temperatures are heat cramps. These present as muscle cramps, pain, and muscle spasms in the abdomen, arms, and legs. If you experience heat cramps, you should drink fluids every 15 to 20 minutes. Water or sports drinks are the best option for replenishing fluids. Heat exhaustion is a more severe condition that you can experience when your body overheats. Usual symptoms include headaches, high heart rate, heavy sweating, muscle cramps, dizziness, weakness, nausea, extreme thirst, and decreased urinary output. Heat exhaustion should be taken very seriously. If you notice any of these symptoms, you should seek immediate medical attention. Without proper treatment, heat exhaustion can lead to a heat stroke. The most severe heat illness is a heat stroke. This condition is caused by a prolonged exposure to the sun in high temperatures. This again leads to your body overheating and may occur if your core body temperature exceeds 104 degrees. Someone having a heat stroke may present with confusion, slurred speech, altered mental status, loss of consciousness, hot dry skin or profuse sweating, and very high body temperatures. This is a serious illness and requires emergency medical treatment. The person should be moved to a cool area while waiting for help. While heat illnesses can be dangerous, there are several ways to prevent getting ill in hot temperatures. These are a few tips that will help you stay cool this summer. Make sure you wear appropriate clothing for the temperature. If the heat is extreme, you should wear light, loose fitted clothing. Stay cool indoors. You should remain indoors in an air conditioning building if the temperatures are extreme. While electric fans can provide comfort, they may not prevent illness in extreme temperatures. Monitor the weather forecasts and plan activities accordingly. Avoid scheduling during the middle of the day since this is often when the temperature reaches its peak. Wear sunscreen. A sunburn can prevent your body from effectively cooling itself down, potentially leading to dehydration. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. You should avoid alcohol and sugary drinks. Sports drinks are a good way to replace salt and other electrolytes. While preventing heat-related illness is best, they do still commonly occur in people during summer months. Therefore, it is important to recognize the signs and take action to prevent worsening of one's condition. If you think you may be experiencing any signs of a heat condition, you should seek medical attention.